Hi, welcome to BoxPred. Uh, this is my weekend rundown. Um, in these videos, which I'm going to try and start doing, <coughs> aside from the video, the, the matches that I've already set predictions on, um, I'm just going to give um, a brief mention to some other fights that I think are worth uh, taking a look at. Um, so for you guys who uh, view my videos, um, follow me on here. Um, I'm going to be trying to sort of just give a brief, me just give a mention to let you know of other fights that are happening this weekend that you might want to try and check out, or you might want to just check the score, uh, the, uh, the 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 score of it, who won, um, and just uh, maybe take a, make a mental note of some of, some of the fighters <coughs> if there's any prospects or um, you know just some just some fights I picked out basically that I thought are worth a mention that are coming up on this weekend. Um, now. All of the fights I'm about to mention are happening on Saturday. Um, so, uh, the first fight I'm going to mention is Orlando Salido is going up against Wang Haya. And uh, originally I thought this fight was going to be for the WBO featherweight title, which Salido currently holds. Uh, but that doesn't seem to be the case. It's now not, not they're not fighting for anything. Um, and I think it's going to be over 10 rounds. Um, it's just good to keep an eye on Salido because he is um, obviously the WBO featherweight champion at the moment. Um, with his, <clears throat> he he had that huge upset over Yuanma Yuanma Lopez. And you know Salido is a real real funny one, really, because he has got like eleven losses, been stopped like five times. A lot of those stoppages came earlier in his career. Um, but you know he's 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 quite tough these days to stop, um, and he has some good power there um, he to cause upsets like he did against uh, Lopez. He went a distance with uh, Yuri Orkis Gamboa. Um, you know he he's always been there or thereabouts uh, up with the being a contender. Um, he he's just. It's really, it's really funny. To, for me, you just never know which which Orlando Salido is going to turn up. So yeah, just uh, for I give that fight a mention because he's fighting uh, Wang Haya. He's never been stopped. He's lost on four occasions, uh, but he's he's uh, from the Philippines. And he's never he's never fought. I think he's fought outside the Philippines once in Thailand, um, and he uh, he shouldn't really give Salido too many problems. I'm expecting. Moving on. Um, Next fight is uh, Antonin Decari going up against Victor Lupo uh, Puyu. I'm not sure if I'm spelling those, pronouncing those names correctly, but um, this fight is for the vacant WBC International Welterweight title. Um, both of these guys reside in Canada. Um, I think Decari is Canadian and uh, Puyu is originally from Romania, like Lucien Boutte. Um, both of these guys have lost just once. Um, so you know, could be an interesting fight. Um, there's not much from their records you can sort of pick between the two. And uh, Puyu, uh, la last time out, defeated Junior Witta uh, by 10 rounds unanimous decision, I think. So that's another fight I thought uh, was worth a mention. It could be uh, some good action there. Uh, next up, Kevin Bizier uh, is a Canadian welterweight pros prospect who I've seen fight before, and he looked quite handy. He's going up against Leonardo Tyner. Uh, this is for the vacant NABA welterweight title, and uh, like I've said, Kevin Bizier is a prospect from uh, out of Canada, Quebec, and uh, he's 16, uh, 16 and 0, undefeated. He's got a 75% KO ratio, so he's got some he's got some power there for the guys he's been facing. And obviously, he hasn't fought top opposition yet because they're sort of working him in, but um, he's he's a guy to keep your eye on. Um, he could be one for the future. Um, Tyner could be a, a bit of a tough test here. He's never been stopped. Um, he's gone the distance with the likes of Lamont Peterson and Saul Alvarez. Um, so he could give, you know, um, give Bizier some some problems he's never seen before. He, he could be, you know, just give him give him uh, some some learning, some lessons in this fight. Um, so yeah, check out uh, Kevin Bizier against Leonardo Tyner. Uh, Liberado Andrade is fighting again. Uh, against Don George for the IBF super middleweight title el this is an eliminator for the IBF super middleweight title which Lucien Boutte currently holds as we know 
and obviously Liberado Andrade has already fought Lucien Boutet twice. The first time it was controversial, but Boutet won a decision, and uh, a lot of people thought that he should have been ruled to be stopped in the 12th round, because Liberado Andrade caught up to him in the, in the 12th round, and, uh, well, the argument there is that he stopped Boutet, but Boutet somehow was allowed to um, finish the fight, and he won the decision. Because um, for the majority of the fight, Lucien Boutet had actually boxed rather well. Um, and now this, you know, obviously begs the question, if, if Andrade wins this fight, then this is obviously an eliminator, so he will there be, therefore become a contender for... Um, he'll be in the line to face Boutet again in the third fight. Um, in the second fight, Andrade got uh, stopped in the fourth round by Boutet. So, you know, do, you, do we really want to see a third fight? I'll leave that for you to decide, but um, that's an eliminator that's going on, and uh, he's going up against Don George, who I don't, from from my, from my memory, I don't think should be should uh, cause him too many problems. But this is boxing; who knows? Next fight: Max Bursak, an undefeated fighter, is going up against La Tekwe Hammond. Uh, not sure how to pronounce his name. Uh, La Tekwe Hammond. Uh, this is for the WBO Intercontinental Middleweight title. Uh, Bursak is 23-0. and He's unbeaten. And uh, his claim to fame so far, I think, is a victory by unanimous decision over Brian Vera. Um, he hasn't got the greatest KO ratio, percentage ratio, I don't think. He is around 30-odd um, percent. But I think uh, this is mainly an interesting fight, just to check this guy out, see if this guy's any good. Um, I think he's Ukrainian, um, so you know this is it's good just to see fighters who are you know currently currently unbeaten seem to be doing the right thing, and let's see how he does in, in this fight. Um, that might be an interesting fight to check out just to see what what Mac, Max Bursak looks like. And finally, Kelbrook is fighting against Luis Galaza. Uh, as we know, Kelbrook is a big, highly touted prospect here in the UK. He's 25-0 unbeaten. Um, Galaza has some power. I think he's got around 61% knockout ratio, if I remember rightly. Um, but he's never fought over 10 rounds before. So um, I'm expecting Kelbrook to handle this guy. But I will throw a bit of caution out there. Galaza hasn't needed to go the distance in the last few fights. I think his last one, he did go the distance. He won an 8-round decision. But... For a few fights before that, he was actually st actually stopping guys quite early on with TKOs. Um, so this guy, you know, he has some power in his pop, and uh, Kelbrook needs to look out for that. So that should be an interesting fight to check out to see how Kelbrook looks against this guy. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. I hope that I've highlighted some fights you guys might want to check out this weekend. Um, enjoy this weekend. We've got some really good boxing going on. Uh, the main big fight, obviously, Andre Ward against Carl Froch, which I'm really looking forward to. And uh, just like to thank you, my viewers, for tuning in. This is Box Spread. Thanks for watching.